Not too long ago, there was a boy. He was a good kid, smart and hardworking. But one day, he made a bad decision, and he didn't have enough courage to ask for help. One bad choice led to another, and the boy, who was once joyful and kind, became a broken, angry man. This is when a special star was born to light the path of the troubled man and fill his heart once again with love and joy. The man and the star became best friends. Together they saved many lives and became heroes. Today they still live up in the sky looking for children who need help with making right decisions. the rest of the story. Stop it! Let go! Emma, you don't need this anymore! Yes, I, do. I told you, I don't ever want to see it again! Don't look at it then! I won't, because I'm throwing it away! No! Why are you doing this? Because it reminds me of... No! <laughs> I hate you. So? All of you hate me, and guess what? I don't care. Crying over this after knowing where it came from? And Mom gets back and telling on you. He called you today, didn't he? Leave me alone. Whatever. It's just a stupid toy. Why are you two in bed? Logan was mean again oh my, my favorite toy. You go to bed now. But... Not another word. And you, young man, I'm sick of your nonsense. I'm going to have a serious conversation with your mom, who isn't paying me enough for this. Now, I don't want to hear another peep from either of you brats. Are you sure about this? Who's there? It's me. Me who? Me, Marvin. Whoa! Be careful. Don't fall out. Now that would be bad. Glad I brought my tubes with me. Who are you, and how did you get in here? It's going to be pretty tricky to fix him. What did you... What? Wait a minute. Oh, I see. Did our babysitter send you? Shh. You wake Emma up. I'm awake. How do you know our names? Are you going to fix Twinkle? I'll do my best. And I like his name. Thank you, Marvin. Emma, he's a stranger. A stranger who cares more about me and Twinkle than you do. Whatever. 
don't mind him, Marvin. He tries to run away all the time, but can never actually do it. No, I don't. You think I'm always asleep, but don't know what you're trying to do? Well, I'm gonna do it, right now, and none of you are gonna stop me. I did the same thing when I was his age. I wish I had someone to stop me. Wait, really? You ran away? Yes, I did. Tell me more. Come over and hold this. I could use some help. You want me to help you fix her stupid toy? Twinkle's not stupid. You want to hear my story or not? So, why did you run away? Can you get that broken screw out? It's better if you sit over next to your sister. That way, I can talk to both of you at the same time. Here, use this. I was born on a farm with a pond. I had a sister just like you and two brothers. Were there animals? You name it. Cows, chickens, pigs, and dogs, of course. I enjoyed helping around the farm, raising animals. It was the best time of my life. Why would you ever want to run away from that? You're a very smart girl, Emma. You promised to tell us why you did it? Somebody's impatient. You sound like our babysitter. She hates us. <laughs> she doesn't hate you. She might hate her job. Plus, I didn't say being impatient is a bad thing. Most boys your age are. I surely was. You guys want to see me when I was a kid? Yeah. Wait, how? <laughs> We still have to do nothing, absolutely nothing. <laughs> right. This means we can play now? Wait, what about the horses? Yeah, let's go feed the horses. <laughs> no, nah, we could feed them later. We can't, Tyrone. Then you'll take care of it, right? Race through the pond. Okay. Guys, wait for me. Guys, the horses, not again. Where did they go? Back to my past. So that was... My siblings and me. And the short one? <laughs> yes. He was mean. Tyrone. He never liked working. And I always covered for him. Even if it meant lying. Why? Because he was my brother. And I thought it was the right thing to do. It's better than being a rat. Nothing justifies a lie. I should have found a better way to show that I cared about him. Like what? Being brave enough to tell him the truth. That what we were doing was wrong. To help him understand and change and... Here, I'm done. <sighs> oh, no. What? It's going to have to be rewired. 
What does that mean? It means I'm going to need some more help. Why are you fixing it? Why did you break it? I told her to get rid of it. Why? Because. <sighs> what are you afraid of, Logan? Nothing. I know what you're afraid of. What? Just because he gave you this stupid toy doesn't mean he cares. Who are you talking about? No one. He does care. Here's the deal. If you still want me to help you, stop asking these questions. You're going to tell me why you ran away. You're right. And I did. And here's how it happened. I was 14 when it first happened. Where are we going? Shh. Why are you whispering? Because. Tyrone, just trust me, man. Uh, fine. I thought you said you had a job for me. I do. This is it. Right here. Put these on. Why? Just do it, man. <sighs> Whose house is this? It's nobody's. And stop asking so many stupid questions. around school and I stood up for you. Now I need you. I wish I'd stood up to Tyrone back then. I wish I listened to the voice inside my head saying what we were doing was wrong. But I was so overwhelmed. said to me. Marvin, you're such a good boy, and I'm proud of you. I trust you to make right decisions, and always listen to your heart when I'm not around. But unfortunately, I didn't follow her wise words, nor did I have enough courage to be the brother I should have been. Instead, I made one of the biggest mistakes. Breaking through that door. Stop! Help! Tyrone! I can't 
Stay quiet. It'll be alright. Tyrone! Just I'm remember, I'm whatever really happens, we don't tell nothing to no one. We're brothers. Tyrone! Approaching porch. Visual on suspect. It's a minor. 511, I've got a suspect at gunpoint. Clear. Marvin? So has the arm. So what were you doing in the house, Marvin? Something's telling me you were trying to rob it. No, I was never. Then what were you ever. doing in someone else's house in the middle of the night? I was just trying to. What? What? Nothing. It was a mistake. Yes, it was. So explain that broken door. Who broke the door, Marvin? I didn't, sir. You have to believe me. Then who did? Are you saying there was someone else with you? No, there was no one else there. Are you sure? Marvin, it's best you tell me the truth now. And I'm going to ask you again. Was there anyone else there? No. You are in a lot of trouble, Marvin. Please don't tell my parents, officer. I beg you. It'll break my mother's heart. Sit down, Marvin. Listen, son, I'm here to help you, but you have to trust me. And it's better for everyone, including your parents, if you tell me the truth. You really have a chance here to help yourself set things right. So tell me, what really happened there? My second chance to make things right, and I blew it. I stuck with my painful lies and covered for my brother Tyrone. Time was passing fast. I was making more and more mistakes. One lie led to another, and another, and another. I caused my mother so much grief, so much pain. Covering for Tyrone, fighting with my dad. Why? Because I wouldn't listen to the people who cared about me, who wanted to help me. I wanted to be independent. I thought I knew everything. And that's when Logan, I ran away from home from my mom and dad. What happened then? Nothing good. I became angry at everything. At life, at God. What did he do? I, I hurt someone really bad. And this time, I had to pay for it.
you go back to your past and change things? I wish it worked that way. decisions in the present moment. What were your consequences? I went to prison. For life? In prison? I thought they only put really bad people in there. Who did really bad things? They do. But you seem really nice. That's because I changed. I don't believe bad people can change. Wait, are you talking about- Bad people. I'm talking about bad people, Emma. They can't change. Unless they truly feel sorry. Remember, I was really, really stubborn. For me to understand and realize my mistakes, I need lots of help. Help from who? From my teachers, counselors, God, and a very special friend. Who is that? Her name was Star. That's a weird name for a person. <laughs> Except it wasn't a person. What? So excited. You get to meet my mom for the first time. When we first met, <laughs> I didn't think we were going to get along. Two very stubborn personalities. And with all the hard work and training, I think we'll be best friends forever. Marvin! Hi. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Is this her? This is her. Gosh, she's so cute. Wow. You, Mom. <laughs> can I pet her? Yes, you can. So this is the shiny star who changed my son. Oh, here. And she will keep changing other people's lives. Believe me. My best friend here is very special. So how is this possible? Dogs in prison? Trouble dogs, Ma. Like inmates. We help them, they help us. We train them to be rescue dogs. But how? Through the prison dog program. Some of these dogs were homeless, others were stressed, undisciplined, or angry. Angry? If they had mean owners, were kicked out, basically left to die. And Star? Came from the animal shelter, and I trained her. Well, Mom, we sleep together, eat together, play together. Play? Hide and seek. <laughs> Believe me, Star is a natural search and rescue dog. Marvin, I haven't seen you this genuinely happy in a very long time. I know. 
You haven't had a spark in your eye since you were a little boy. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Star, for bringing my son back. My mother saw I wasn't the criminal anymore. Once again, I was able to feel love, compassion. I started caring for others. I already gained a purpose in life. You see, Logan, I wasn't angry anymore. I wasn't afraid. I learned to trust again. Do you have someone you trust? Look, I know you're a good kid. I know you don't want to run away from your mother. I know you love your sister. I even know you feel bad about hurting Twinkle. That's not true. Yes, it is. What makes you two think you know me that well? We know your heart. It's a good heart. Maybe it's your anger that leads you to bad choices. Are you saying I'm bad? Not at all. You're a very good boy. That's why I don't want you to make the same mistakes I did. I don't understand. What do you want from me? I want you to trust people to trust your heart, to be brave. I am brave. Then why are you so angry? What? Why do you want to run away? For the same reason he always hurts Twinkle. Which is? You really want to know? Yes. You really want to know? Yes. Just tell him already. None of you know what it's like to come to school with all the other kids staring at you laughing behind your back, pretending I don't know that they're talking about me and my face bruises, secretly whispering about my father. Did your father give you those bruises? Do you know what it's like when no one wants to be your friend because your father's in prison when all you want to be it's a normal kid with a normal family. But they say you'll end up just like your old man. Is that what you believe, Logan? At least you had a dog. But me, I have anyone. No one. You hear me? That's not true. You have your mother. You have your teachers. You have your sister. Who hates me for breaking her toys. I hate that you hurt Twinkle, but I don't hate you. I pray for you every night. You pray for me? Why? Because I want to have a brother who loves me. And I hope that someday we can pray together. Pray for what? For both of us to have a normal life. And to learn to forgive our father. That's what I told him when he called to date from prison. <laughs> One pull on the right string, and it's fixed. I'll do it. Marvin, what happened to Star after you trained her? Now that's a story I'm very proud of. Tell us, tell us. <laughs> one evening, an elderly woman went missing in a nearby town. No one could find her. Not the best police search dogs, not the search on foot, 
The helicopters. Not even the helicopters? Nope. But they asked if Star could come help look for her. Did she? Well, first, Star and I had to have a pep talk. And I said, go find her, girl. And? What others couldn't do in hours, Star did in less than 20 minutes in the dark. She found the missing woman? Trapped in a steep valley. Everyone heard about what Star had done. They even gave her a medal. <laughs> the old man was very proud. And what about you? Because of Star and my good behavior and hard work, they let me out of prison to go home. To your mom and dad? <sighs> Unfortunately, they weren't alive anymore. And I myself got really sick. Marvin? Yes? Did you die? <laughs> Look, <laughs> Twinkle is all fixed. <gasps> Twinkle! <laughs> Marvin, why are you here? I watched you. And? Like I said, I came here to help, to fix things. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It was really Logan that fixed Twinkle. I just gave him some tools, a couple suggestions. Thank you, Logan. I'm sorry for being mean to you and for hurting Twinkle. Well, my work here is done. Where are you going? Tell my story to other kids. No! I'm gonna leave this window open, Logan. Whenever you're feeling frustrated or sad, instead of running away, I want you to look up at the sky and you see stars gazing back at you. Those stars should remind you about the people around who care about you. Just choose a star that you can trust and everything will be all right. Marvin? Yes. Are you an angel? Hey, what? Again? Nana said she was after <gasps> Mom! Hurry! They're coming up the stairs. Marvin, you gotta hide. Um, under the bed. Marvin, your toolbox! Logan, turn off the lights quickly! <laughs> them talking the whole time. And crying? Mom? See, I told you they were awake. Emma, are you okay? Did Logan hurt you again? No. Liar? I mean, uh... Where's Marvin? Who? Now, Marvin? young man, you're gonna tell your mom about how you broke her toy, again. Logan, is this true? I just... You just what? I... He actually fixed him. 
Now, I don't know what you're up to, but this is getting old. Elena. You both are going to tell your mom about your stupid fight. Elena. And how you keep being mean to your little sister. Stop. Just... Please. Mrs. Morris? <laughs> Go home. What? I just want to be alone with my kids. Okay. I'm sorry, Mom. Me too. Who's Marvin? Uh, he was just... Huh? Wait a minute. Whoa, I hate to see that broken. It was your grandmother's. Let me take that. Okay. Now, who is Marvin? Angel. What, who? M Mom. Yes? Can we please get a new babysitter? Please, pretty please. <laughs> we'll see. But for now, just go to bed, okay? Come on, let's go. Here, let's not forget Twinkle. All right, here we go. Now you, come on. Up you go. There's my sweet boy. Okay. Why is the window open? No! We, we like the stars. Okay. Mm -hmm.